And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time. Let's look at some other things related to the GP200 LT Multifix processor by Velton, like the computer stuff <laughs> and build a patch pedal show. My name is Gabor. Hey, welcome along. I'm Alex. Going to check out that. Yes, what I said. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, please hit like and subscribe on our video and channel. Give us a thumbs up. Comments below. What do you think? Have you yeah. checked out our other overview video? And if there's anything specifically you want us to do with this, let us know in the mm. comments below. And yeah, the overview video Alex was talking about is here. So it's a rather lengthy video where we look at all the features and all that sort of stuff. So today I thought what we're going to do is we're going to look at the software side and we're also going to build a patch each Yay. from scratch. Just so you can see what the scratch, what the scratch, what the patch building process looks like. Patch and we've scratch. built maybe one slightly cleaner sound and one slightly more high gain sound for me. So let's start off with, um, you have a little uh, USB-C connection in the back here. Uh, you can connect it to the computer, which you can hopefully see now. Uh, we have the GP200 LT Velton software. Now, uh, you can pretty much do everything or just about everything you can do on the actual thing on here. Uh, the only thing you can't do with just this, you need, um, for firmware updates, you need the app. Mm -hmm. And if you want to load IRs, you need the app. Cool. So you do, via this app, you load the IRs on here, uh, which I've done. Uh, also, the other thing is it gives you a little bit more, uh, you get the same stuff if you download the manual, but it gives you, for example, I mean, this is just whatever it came, uh, you know, the default sort of setting here, but it, it shows you what, for example, this, you know, the, this compressor is based on a legendary Ross compressor. And, as you click on stuff, it tells you what it's based on and what it does, right? So you've got the the P boost is the exotic RC booster, cool. right, for example. And if you click on, I don't know, the amps, uh, it tells you what the amps are based on and all that sort of stuff. So that's basically what you can do with the software. Um, there's not a huge amount more to it, really, other than that. So what I thought is maybe a little bit combining software and this... Mm. Let's build a patch for you. Cool, cool. Okay. So what we can do is we can go uh, scroll here. These are all the, the preset patches on here. But uh, if you go down towards the end, it goes to, once you get to patch 26, it just says it's GP200 LT. Yep. Right? So if we go to that one, uh, uh, don't, don't, don't say it's a preset. Okay. So I think it's just a, like the, the very first sound just repeat it over and over again or nothing no actually no nothing is on it's clean yeah. it's all clean all right so let's start from from nothing so what kind of amp would you like let's start with that that's always the the first thing to ask sure so there's tons of amps yes so we have we have if i just sort of quickly scroll through it right we have tweet style ones we have um can i do it like that yes i can basement style ones we have deluxe style ones uh and you know it shows you tells you all about it here right so um vibralux you have uh supro i think coming out. oh no this is the twin reverb this is the supro it looks like a cool. supro uh we have uh foxy yeah vox style amps different types of vox amps jc 120 style amp we've got a matchless uh clean channel overdrive channel we have an uh, the lone star as will be lone star We've got Boogie Shiva. We've got Boogie, Boogie uh, the Blue Vintage Channel on the XTC. We've got the Modern Chat Blue Channel on the XTC. We've got the Red Channel, uh, the other Red Channel. We've got a Doctor Z uh, Clean Channel Overdrive Channel. We've got a Knights. I never heard of the Grind Rod Pen Dragon. Is it like a pen pal but a dragon? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, clean channel, dirty channel, overdrive channel, uh, bad cat, clean, overdrive. There's Tan, Soldano. It's it's limitless. So is there anything, what what kind of sound are you after? Can we try the Dr. Z thing? Dr. Z? Have that clean or overdrive? Uh, overdrive. Overdrive channel, okay. Let's go to the overdrive channel. Um, Dr. Z, overdrive. So... Uh, Let's do it in here as well. So basically now that's that's selected here. Right, so if you click on that, it's selected it here. Yep. So let's just turn it on. We need a cabinet as well. Let's do use our... So what about like a 4x10? Okay. 
So it's on now. I don't know where it's easier to see it. Uh, do you want to do it on here or do you want to do it? So you've got gain, tone cut, volume, bass, mid and treble. Sure. Do you want more gain? No, it's cool. Maybe um, it sounds a bit dark though. Get rid of the cone. Try a different cabinet or keep yeah, the Yeah, maybe try a different one. Four by twelve? Okay. It's scooped, I think. Two by ten open back. Oh open back. Okay. I think that sounds alright actually. That's pretty cool. I might just take a little bit of that top end off. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. It's a pretty groovy sound. So should we should we stick with that? So this is a, okay. a, a Celestian Plus, a Celestian Digital. There's actually links below in a description. You don't have to use exactly those IRs, but or buy those IRs. But if you buy Celestian IRs via the link, you're helping out the show. You can we buy get, anyone's. We you get want. rich. Sweet, sweet, sweet cash. Um, you can also do a low cut, high cut on that IR if you want. But I mean, That's cool. Okay, what else would you? You probably knowing you, you probably want reverb of some sort. Okie dokie. Um, room reverb? Uh, let's have a listen. Do you have different room options or just one? Uh, I think you just have that particular... Well, you have a hall. I mean, there's tons of other. You have a hall. church sprung yeah studio stu stu studio club C. <laughs> oh, that's got some uh, modulation going on in there. No, no, what you want is sweet space. That's me. That's not bad, actually. Sweet space. You've got high end, low end as well, and pre delay. So pre delay is set to 50 milliseconds. That's pretty good. Do you want more decay, less decay? Uh, mix? Maybe just a slight more mix. Slightly more mix? Yeah. It's not a bad tone, is it? No, no, it sounds pretty good. It's a sweet space. Oh, it's just um, box. Produces a modulated reverb effect that is lush and sweet. Cool. That's what it says. So, um,. And leave that as an always on reverb. Yeah. Okay, so what else do you want? Maybe a compressor we can toggle on and off. Compre for... Okay, all right. So compressor, we go to the start. Yep. So you've got a big list. I don't know if all of them are compressors, but you've got the this one based on a Ross compressor. You've got this one based on the Keeley C, C4 4 knob compressor. That's a Keeley. You've got the S Comp, flexible, fully adjustable compression, compression effects. Oh, and then you've got boosts. Okay. Let's go. Let's try the Keeley. The Keeley, four, the four knob one. So you've got uh, sustain, attack, volume, and clipping. Right on. Because let's turn it on. And you want that to be foot switchable. Sure. Should we? Oh, actually, for your, do you want all four buttons to be accessible? Yeah. Cause okay. I'm, let's quickly do that. Let's just let's just may as well. The way I'd use this would be like for uh, little corporate gigs or fly dates or little festival sets or something. Okay. So it's probably just a sound with some options. So. 
Which one do you want the compressor to be? Uh, number one. That that one? Control one. Okay, control one. So we're going into here. Patch settings. Uh, knobs one to three. Oh, no, hang on. Not, not knobs one to three. We've got to go control settings. So we want... So the the uh, compression is the pre-pedal. So what mm -hmm. we want is we want a control one, which is this one. Yep. We want that to be that. So now, technically... Hey. Yeah, there you go. So that now, that's off. Do you want to change anything with the compression or? It's actually pretty good. Pretty good the way it's set? Yeah. So you're happy with it. Okay, so we've got compression here. Next, what do you want? Let's leave it on for now. Either like a boosty drivey distortion y thingy. Boosty drive. For my for more gamey thingies. Okay, well let's go to the distortion setting yeah. then. So you've got again tons of things. So you've got a green overdrive. I wonder what that is. Based on a legendary TS eight oh eight, you've got an an uh, OD nine. So on the T based on a TS nine. Yeah. You've got a yellow overdrive, which to me looks like it's sort of like a OD boss boss overdrive. You've got a Panasas, pa pa which is I guess a <laughs> It's an unfortunate name. A uh, con style thing. Penis? Penis ass. Penis ass. Penis Yeah. Penis? Well, there you go. Um, do you want to try the con style? Let's try the penis ass. <laughs> Because I mean, with overdrive pedals, you always kind of want maybe um, the the maybe volume. Um, do you want volume, or would you ha would you want gain control? Well, maybe is the EQ after the situation in it? EQ. Is there an EQ pedal in there? Yeah, you can move the EQ pedal wherever you want it to. So be. what if we uh, have that as like a bit of sculpting and volume? So put that early in the chain, the EQ pedal. You mean? Or how, leave it no, where it is. No, where it is. Yeah. Leave it, okay, so leave the... You don't want any of the controls. I'm just saying for here, you can assign... Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, maybe gain for that one. For, what, that's what I, So knobs one to three, and make it the first one? Sure. Okay, so we, we here you got to be on the first one. Module, uh, we want... We don't want BPM, we don't want patch, we don't want... We want distortion. And we want the gain. Cool. Right on. Done. So now we have the gain here. So gain is currently set to 40. So that's the gain for the Please. clon style <laughs> penicillin. <laughs> I mean, that sounds pretty good. What do you want next? Maybe some modulation. Modulation? Or did you want to do the EQ thing? Or Yeah, actually. Do the EQ thing? So like maybe whack that on at the same time as a uh, the the pen what is it penicence penicence uh, so uh, so the same button turns both on yeah there's okay. it, just like a low mid thing that's a bit build up y build up -y? so what you go you go into here you go into uh, control settings mm. and then we want to go to controller two because that's what the distortion is on yep. and a controller two now will also oh not controller three I went one too far controller two. And that one will now also turn that on. So if you, that turns with this. Right on. Oh no, with this one, sorry. Not three, with two. We're turning both both of them on and off at the same time. Now, okay, so what do you want? You've got a graphic here. Is there like four or five hundred hertz? Four hundred, yeah. Maybe just duck that a bit. Duck it? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe split the difference because there's already mid range from the pedal. <laughs> so, you happy with that? That's amazing. Amazing. Excellent. So, modulation. Okay, what kind of modulation would you like? Maybe like a trim type thing. 
Just a smooth bit of a modulation. Uh, a tri uh, triangle trim, sine trim, bias trim. I think it's sine. Or an O trim. It's O trim. Optical trim. Optical. Yeah, let's try optical, optical trim. Based, based on the legendary Demeter TRM One Tremulator. Tremulator, two thousand. <laughs> Maybe a bit less depth. Less depth. And how about, how about, we make it that knob. Okie dokie. I mean button. Okie dokie. Right on. There we go. So that's now, okay, so that's your compression, mm -hmm. that's your drive and EQ, and that's the modulation. Now, should we add one more thing, just because we have one more button? Oh, maybe an echo? Echo? Yeah. Uh, delay. So, there's, again, tons, pure delay, analog delay, tape delay, ping pong delay, slapback delay, sweep echo, Ring echo, tube echo, M echo. Oh, you just got to turn all that. Uh, sweet echo. Ooh, that's sweet, sweet. Sounds good. To me, that's like a probably DM two, DM three kind of thing because it yeah. just has that kind of color and produced from eighty one to eighty four. Yeah, yeah. That you like that sure. one. Or there's a vintage rack, Ooh. or lo-fi, or reverse, or 999. What's a 999? Oh, the base, based on the Max What's the vintage rack one sound like? That sounds pretty good. Let's assign that now. It can be the edge. You can be... You, 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 absolutely. Oh, no, we don't want that one. Uh, we want it to be delay. So that's that button now. Uh, so now we have, you don't have tap function, but you can turn a delay on with this. So it's say expression AB there? Oh. Yeah, sorry, in here I set it up wrong. That needs to be control four. There you go. Sorry, I, I did that wrong before. So now it's control four. So now this should be the delay. could technically do stuff do that. stuff with the expression pedal yeah. as well if you wanted Function. to or you know but, uh, I mean and then let's say you like that sound let's press save you can save it to this it's probably actually easier to do it in here you can save it uh, onto this you can rename the patch you can even you can write to the author is uh, so let's let's save it let's name the patch what do you want to call it uh, Alex is cool 
<clears throat> Seems to be a typo. <laughs> no, is there? No. And now it's called Alex is not cool. There you go. So we've saved it. So shall we now quickly <laughs> do a more high gainy kind of sound sure. just to see what they sound like? All right, and we're back uh, with a Pure Salem Guitars mm. uh, Cardinal. Actually, yeah. let's just quickly check. This is Alex's yeah. same patch. We'll just check the same thing out with humbuckers. Um, sounds like this. <laughs> It sounds good with humbuckers too. But now let's do a more maybe high gainy kind of sound, right? So let's go Distortron. Distortron. Let's go to the next patch. Uh don't save, we've saved it before anyway. So this is 26B, right? So let's let's build a patch for me, right? Oh yeah. So let's start off again with amp because you have to do it because you got the computer over there. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. Um so I reckon I wouldn't mind going for something a bit more high gainy. What was the um last ones down the bottom? They um Diesel things. Oh, diesel. Okay, yeah, diesel. Let's try yeah. diesel. Uh, there's Mesa Boogie. There's uh, uh, Angle as well. Ooh. But let's try it. I guess diesel, yeah. Um, diesel. Is this the. Yeah. yeah, that's a gainy kind of thing. Okay, and let's just use the whatever the matching cabinet is. the next one that sounds pretty good get back one I think the last second last one this one pretty... okay let's go with that why not that one's a bit turn the gain up all the... I mean that's got its matching cabinet, mm. uh, which is the did 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 did. Uh, but let's just quickly check. Just want to see how does it work with my angle. The one I use at home often, which is the oversized four by twelve angle cabinet. <laughs> What a four by twelve cream bag. I probably actually like the one that it comes with. Though. Let's just stick with that, right? So we've got the amp, uh, gains up, maybe turn the volume up a little bit. Oh, we like me. Yeah. We want no, maybe a little scoopy. But... No, that's what we need. I like that. Okay, detail. Let's maybe add a uh, noise reduction to it. It doesn't really need it. It was actually pretty quiet without it. It was actually. It's a little bit. Yeah. Let's just go with it. Cool. Let's let let's just say that. Uh, let's then. Okay, I want to boost the front of front end of it. Uh, there is one of these. Boosty one is here. Is a there's the Fortin grind, which is like a chugga chugga boost. It's almost too much. I'm 
Sorry, I can bear with that. I mean, that tightens it. So let's say if I want to do the chugga chugga, uh, let's do, yeah, pre control one. So this now. If I want it. But I quite I quite like the sound actually like this. Yeah? You need some like dimension chorus type thing to get full 80s. Ooh, okay, yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's go to modulation. That's what you need. Do I? Oh yeah. <laughs> well let's 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 find it then. So we've got the G chorus. Uh, let's just see what they sound like. The C chorus. Yes. Should we do that? But should we have a look maybe? Just for fun. <laughs> Let's see what it sounds like if we were to move it in front of the amp ah. and the distortion. It doesn't have the nice, the same kind of stereoness to it. Yeah. So it's let's it's. Let's leave it there. So I want that to be button number three. Let's assign it to be button number three. So we go to here. Button number three is the modulation. All right. So we've got. Is this is my tightener, right? Yep. And it's a spacious of fire. Actually, oh yeah, no, that's good. But as I'm spaciousifying it, I also want some delay to come on. I think it needs that. Uh, what about ooh, ambience? The preset sounds like great. It's probably a little bit wet. Oh, come on. Where's your where's his you, sense of You lose all the chorusy. Where's his sense of adventure? I like that. Okay, now I want this. I'll go back. Oh, 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 I want this to be also assigned to control three. So that when I turn the chorus on, that comes on. Yeah, cool. So that's now. <laughs> Cool. Oh, and, 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 trails have to be on. You have to have trails on. You can't not. Okay, so I've got two more things I can do. Yeah. I reckon I would like a wah. You like a wah? What about like a lo-fi effect of some sort? Okay, is there a lo-fi effect of some sort? Because there's kind of like the 80s rock thing with the chorus. Maybe like more of a modern, like sampley type thing with a. Oh, and what about a fuzz?
That's what I want. Uh, and I want this to be control two. And the noise gate is not quite sure what to do. Freak it out, man. Uh, let's go to the noise. Um, This noise gate works better. Noise gate two. So now I have the fuzz. That actually works quite well with the fuzz. Yeah. It sort of tightens up the fuzz a bit too. Cool, I like that, I like that. So lastly, I've got all that sort of stuff. I reckon this needs to be some sort of a wah kind of thing or something to do with the expression pedal. So sure. let's, 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 uh, okay. Let's, oh no, let's go back. Uh, let's go into patch settings. Let's go expression, no, expression settings. So we want expression B to be the Y. Okay, let's turn this again into the, let's go to global, foot switch. And I want to turn this foot switch into the, uh, where is it? Expression A and B, so it switches, oh, not MIDI. It switches between expression A and B, so it can have two things assigned to my expression. Cool. Um, so this now, turns a while on already, because it, it defaults to while, I have an expression B. Yeah. Oh, and a cable's stuck in it, that's why it doesn't work. Oh, it's back to front. And it's back to front. <laughs> Hang on, I think I may need to assign it to be that so expression setting. Wah, yes, we've got the wah. Let's now actually let's pick because there's different wahs too. So we've got let's pick different wahs. <laughs> The bass wah, the B wah. Oh, yeah. S wah, what's the S wah? Swa. Swa. Classic wah tone. Yeah, okay. Oh, and you can change the range. Cool, that's my wah, huh? cool. and then that turns it off. So technically, yes, yeah, so currently that's a volume because it's set default as a volume pedal. Yeah. But what I want it to do now, oh no, hang on, we gotta go back one, we gotta go back up to here. So expression settings, I reckon, what should we, maybe a whammy, I think a whammy, I need a whammy. Because <laughs> I want a pitch bend. Uh, range 100 and then we need to assign that expression no not that one expression and we want this to be pre cool minimum maximum yeah so it should just be that now ah oh, but we had the volume uh, we had the volume on off Oh, but it blend. Okay, so it has the blend currently set. Uh, we want wet hundred, dry zero. So that turns it on and off now. So 
I guess it's whatever you let, leave it on when you turn it off. That's what it's that's what it's set on. But I mean, there's a there's a slightly sort of maybe a little bit more heavier kind of sounding rig. It sounds pretty cool. I mean, it's it's one of those skies the limit kind of things where you can literally do just about anything you want. Uh, set it up, get it going. It's a pretty cool, yeah, pedal. I know, right? What do you guys think? Yeah. Do you dig the voucher into GP200 LT multi yes. processor? Yes, thingy? yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And I mean, it's Comments built. Play. It's built quite yep. sturdily. Uh, I mean, I think it would, it would live through gigs and stuff quite easily. Yeah, that's not an issue. Um, I think it comes with a quite a high milliampage uh, power supply. Like it says, I think it says over a thousand on the back of it. But we have it plugged into 400 milliamp. Uh, nine volt, just the standard sort of. I guess the power any Strymon and stuff, and it works fine. The bricky thing. Yeah. So I haven't tried anything below four hundred milliamp, but four hundred milliamp works. Okay. And it's a standard sort of boss size. Because I think the one that included for us was a US style pe um, power oh, supply, sure. which is hundred ten volt instead of two forty. So um, mm. uh, uh, yeah, Demand. but it works with the normal power brick. Yeah, yeah. Comments below. What do you think? It's a bit of fun. Yeah. Checking a bunch of sounds. Bit more um, uh, navigation type stuff. Oh, and let's we've got to save this. Oh, this is a Gaborine. You're gonna call it Gaborine? <laughs> no, I think you should call it. You've got to save it as Gabor's awesome sounds. Gabor. Oh no, actually, let's just. It's too long. Let's make it Gabor is awesome. <laughs> I'm getting control of the laptop next time. Hey, Gabor uh, is awesome. And then let's not forget um, the previous one. Oh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Alex is not cool. <laughs> let's not forget that. So uh, comments below if you and think Gabor I've been, awesome. <laughs> been bullied on the internet. Thanks for hanging in. Thanks again to Valtron for uh, sending this. Yeah, thank you so much. And if there's boss. anything in particular you want us to do with this, let us know in the comments below. I'm out of here. See ya. <laughs>